As part of the World Vegetarian Day today, uh, we're happy to be able to uh, celebrate that, to bring awareness about uh, being vegetarian as a plant-based uh, vegetables food for, for just not only better health but for the environment as well. Today the world is uh, in a dangerous place. Climate change has become a serious buzzword. SDG goals have become a buzzword. What we really need now is what to establish the link between your diet and climate change. Besides uh, celebrating World Vegetarian Day, we are also uh, they are also raising funds for Second Chance uh, Home Shelter. This is a very good initiative. Today, all the proceeds will be donated to Second Chance for Animal Shelter. We have about 500 over rescue animals, cats and dogs. Our shelter, of course, we need operation costs a month. Feeding the 500 dogs, I mean, thirty thousand food. 10,000 for workers, so basically money I need 40,000 to sustain the shelter every month. All the animals in the shelter is up, put out for assumptions. So if you are interested, always PM to our Facebook. Ini semua Allah yang pilih kita untuk buat kebaikan. Jadi, satu hari saya akan bagi anjing makan dua kali pagi dan malam. Petang lah, petang balik kerja sebelum mengkrit. Uh, di samping bagi anjing makan juga, kita pun ada jumpa anjing yang orang pukul, yang mati kena langgar. Kenapa kita kena buat semua itu pada bidang-bidang? Kenapa kita tidak sayang mereka? Mereka bukan minta nak duduk rumah mewah ke, nak makan perha ayam ke, nak makan KFC ke, itu semua tak ada. Mereka cuma nak sedikit secebir nasi dari kita untuk mereka teruskan kehidupan. People to, to have more passion and love to the strays. Uh, please don't hurt them. If you are not helping them, please don't hurt them. So, so, so we, 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 I, I hope that we have a zero stray in Malaysia. I hope that our shelter will be shutting down. No more shelter. No more shelter means we don't have this big problem. I've been personally practicing um, being on plant-based diet for like 30 years and I, I feel the energies and are they actually getting sick at all? I'll give you an example. If we were to have one day a week, if we were to adopt a plant-based diet one day a week, one year, we would be saving the earth from 170 kilograms of carbon dioxide. How then? How then do you switch to a vegetarian diet? I would tell you to do it slowly, change slowly, have more uh, fruits and vegetables in your diet. I used to eat meat six days a week, every day. And uh, I've stopped that. But I did it in a slow, uh, I started with Monday, then I started with Thursday, and then slowly progressed on to adopt a totally plant-based diet. It is becoming very, very popular now. We in the Malaysian Western Society estimate there's about 2 million vegetarians in Malaysia now, and the number is growing. And the increasing thing now, previously it was not there, but now we are having people of all different faiths and ethnic backgrounds adopting uh, a vegetarian diet. We had a very successful event on the 1st of October. Almost about 100 guests participated in this event. The amount total will raise up 4041 Dollars. It was quite a successful to raise out that amount. I'm very impressed to receive such a warm animal lovers and the kind people that we can get together and have a delicious meal that we have indeed is very delicious. Uh, Loving Heart already considered uh, to, to continue this momentum. My dog just passed away uh, about one and a half months ago. She lives a very happy and very comfortable life with love and care. I also wish all the dogs have these opportunities to also have a very loving home. My husband and myself, the founders 
animals lover, so we are very passionate about uh, animal people, and we also want to try to create an, uh, a good home for the animals. And that continuation love, we really, really appreciate it from our bottom of heart. So thank you again <coughs> to Tracy and Aaron and this loving heart and hope that uh, second chance will be fortunate and under the umbrella and the care of the loving heart.